You don't mind working on weekends. You don't mind throwing your computer on the ground because you just cannot make that one statistics program work. You don't mind feeling frustrated a lot of times. You don't mind working a lot of extra hours and not getting paid for them. You don't mind failing. You don't mind being under pressure. You don't mind working many, many hours straight throughout the night without not really sleeping many times on a rocking ship through many weeks, for many weeks. You don't mind further on in your career spending a lot of time thinking about budgets and money. If you don't mind spending hours and hours writing a paragraph that in the end is totally useless and you just wasted all that time. But above all, you should become a marine biologist if, even after all I've just said, you still want to become a marine biologist. If, even though you might only have three hours of sleep, your drive is enough to keep pushing you forward and maybe even enjoy the ride. If you like working with people who are extremely passionate about what they do. If you like to learn new things especially about the ocean. If you enjoy working in a diverse and multicultural environment. If you like adventure and going to new places and meet new people. If you enjoy working in an environment that nourishes and motivates critical thinking. If you like the ocean. If you are a critical thinker who questions the world around you and craves to find answers for those questions. But most of all, you should become a marine biologist if you are passionate about learning and exploring the unknowns of the ocean. Hi everyone, I am back. I've decided to make this video because I get a lot of questions of people asking me whether or not I think they should pursue marine biology as a career. And here is my answer. I cannot answer because this depends entirely on you. To become a marine biologist, of course you need to be passionate about something marine, but you also need to be passionate about science. Marine biology is a science is a, a, a field in science in which we thrive on asking questions and finding ways to answer those questions. I believe that any field in science can sometimes be much more than a full-time job. Because you are so invested in answering certain questions that are just puzzling your mind, it, it is a career that is that you have to put your whole heart and energy and your whole mind into. And sometimes even when you want to, it's hard to disconnect, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it depends on each person and it depends on what each person wants to do with their life. First of all, especially in the beginning of your career, it is not an especially well-paid job and also you don't get paid extra hours and additionally it's a very unstable job. So you will probably have to move around a lot until you find a permanent position which are becoming increasingly more difficult to get. Marine biology can have a lot of downsides to it, but it's also a job that allows you to have experiences that I believe nearly no other job allows you to have. If you already know that your goal in life is to have a stable job from the beginning of your career, have a good paycheck, and have a job from five to, not five, from nine till five, then maybe this not might not be the best career for you. However, if you are passionate about learning and exploring and answering and asking questions and spending the most of your life plotting ways to find answers for your questions, then you might be in the right place. If you are like me when I started studying and even now that I am finishing my PhD and you don't have a clue about what you want to be doing in 10 years from now, then just follow your gut. Do what you imagine yourself at this moment doing for the rest of your life. Even if you change along the way, which is very probable that you will because we are constantly learning and adapting and our priorities change, it's no problem. Everyone is different, everyone has different priorities, different dreams, different things they want to do with their lives. And you are the only one who knows best what you want to do with your life. So look at your life now, look at your dreams now, look at what you imagine yourself doing and decide based on that. I want to finish by saying that I am just one person and all I've said came from this mind, which means everything came a bit from my personal experience and from the experience of the people around me. 
di people are different and things that are cons and or pros for some may not be the same for others. So I ask if you have any experience or any advice or anything you would like to add to this video, please do so in the comments below. For all my marine biologists out there, if any of you is watching this, let, let, me, let us know, not me, but everyone here what you think, whether uh, on, uh, given your life experience, what advice would you give to people who are now looking towards finding a career or if you just made up your mind yourself, please let us give any insight that might help people who are struggling with life decisions and just career decisions and marine biology or not. Just leave it down. We would all be very, very thankful. Okay, everyone, this was all. I do hope that this helped some of you. I know it's so difficult to choose a career and to choose a, a, the life that you will have for the rest of your life, but nevertheless, just be happy. Go with what you feel is right and what will make you happy, and there's really not much more you can do. So I wish the best, best of luck for all of you who are starting now with studies or who are finishing exams, all of those things. I wish the best of luck and I truly wish that you can find the best way that is the best way for you. With this said, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.